What's poppin' with you, my collectors? It's White Butterfly Ascension. Coming to give my Virgos. Y'all, 8-8 eight, eight portal reading. This reading is gonna be from Tuesday, August the 9th to Monday, August the 15th. So you got Ooh La La by Tina Marie. So y'all got some kind of love on y'all mind, huh? You want to stay together with somebody or somebody wants to stay together with you. <clears throat> we're going to ground first. Then we're going to get into y'all message and what's the issue with y'all relationship and the outcome. feel about somebody y'all is deep in love you want somebody to know how you feel let's see Virgo get y'all angry message then we're gonna get into y'all message 404 at equals 8 eliminate all fear from realms of your imagination. It's hard. I mean, maybe it's been hard for y'all to think positive or think negative. It's been hard for y'all not to think that way. It has no place there. Instead of replace those thoughts with all things good, abundant, and pure. So you need to think more positive. What do I preach on this channel? Positive thoughts bring positive results. If you're steadily thinking negative, the universe doesn't know which one you want to go with, the negative or the positive. So, the universe needs you to embrace positivity. Even though you don't see it, it's common. 8-8 eight, eight is a portal. It's like one of the doors opening and all your abundance is coming through. But you got to believe. You got to speak it into existence. You got to manifest it. You are holding yourself back. You are your worst enemy because you are keeping negative thoughts in your head instead of positive. And again, negative thoughts bring negative results. 1360. This is a confirmation that your earnings, prayers, and affirmations have been heard. You are attracting what you have desired to manifest in your life. Expect an uptick in blessings and miracles being realized in the 3D. See? You're about to have all of the blessings that you pray for, ask the universe for, ask the other for. Keep your heart pure. Keep your heart in a positive space. Make sure that you are manifesting from a pure heart space, positive mindset. Make sure that you are realizing that things can only go up from here. What's the problem with your relationship? How this person feels? How you feel? And the outcome. Let's see what y'all issue is. 
Nine of Swords. Mm. Y'all feel bound and gagged to a situation. Y'all feel tied to a situation like there's no hope. You can't get out of it. You can't see the forest for the trees. You can't see the abundance coming towards you. You can't see all the goodness that's coming towards you because you're stuck in a mental space. You're stuck in your thoughts. You're stuck in negative thoughts. And again, negative thoughts bring negative results. So until you get to this positive headspace that the universe is blessing you with, you need to realize that you won't move forward. You can't move forward if you're still thinking negative. You can't move forward if you're not having a pure heart. You don't have you can't move negative you can't move forward if you're having negative thoughts. Those negative thoughts consume you. Those negative thoughts bring you down. They bring your energy down. You have to uplift yourself. You have to think positive. Because <clears throat> when the universe wants to bless you, they want to bless you, but they want you to be thankful and grateful for what you have right now. So when you do get that big blessing, that big abundance, then you know it was nothing but God. It was nothing but the universe that helped you through. Okay, how does person feel about this relationship? Wheel of Fortune. High Priestess. Nine of Pentacles. So we have some type of cycle of you feeling negative, you not thinking positive. That cycle is being closed out. You have completed that lack cycle. You have completed that not having cycle. You have completed holding yourself back because you know that your money is on the way up. You have some type of epiphany. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. Are you dealing with, I want to say a Taurus, I don't know why, but these two horns is telling me Taurus, and then the Nine of Pentacles is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, so y'all may be dealing with any of those signs, but there has been an ending to Hard times are ending to bad times, are ending to bad relationships, bad connections. There has been an ending. And you're just sitting here waiting, realizing that your blessings are coming. Money is coming in. This person that you're dealing with. Maybe you was dealing with, maybe you was dealing with a third party situation because the high priestess can also be the mistress. Maybe this person that you're dealing with has red hair, long hair, brunette hair. Maybe somebody has gray hairs. <laughs> oh, that's a confirmation. Okay. Spirits say I'm on point. So, you're closing out a cycle of lack. You're closing out a cycle of not having. You're closing out a cycle of not feeling like you're enough. Because you are enough. And the universe has been trying to tell you this. But you have been binding yourself to situations that does not serve you. You're connecting to situations and people that don't serve you. Amen. By Meek Mills featuring Drake. Dreams and nightmares. So maybe you've been having some dreams lately that's telling you or you're getting downloads in your dreams to let you know that and you're going to get a message about money. See they got that bird. 
So you're going to get a message about this money that's coming towards you. And this money that's coming towards you is going to be a lot of money. Your money is going all the way up. How, how your person feels or down. Okay. All their cards are in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. So, you have some type of lie. Because Ace of Swords is not a truth. A lie about growth and stability and victory. So you are in or this person feels like they need to withhold the truth from you because they don't see growth or victory with this relationship. And I told y'all, I don't know somebody that got red hair. Yeah. Both of these women have red hair. Yeah. Maybe you have red hair. Yeah. I don't know. So, you have someone that's not being honest. Someone that you're feeling like you can't invest in anymore. Because you don't see progress. And maybe you know this truth. Or you already feel this truth about this relationship, about this connection. You're realizing that this connection is not going nowhere. You're realizing that... This person is not being honest with you. They're not being forthcoming with you. They're not expressing how they feel to you. Because they are feeling lack. Go sit down. Go. Sorry, y'all, that's the dog. So, maybe the person that you're dealing with has green eyes. Hazel eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This person has hazel eyes, green eyes, red hair. Maybe they have two-tone hair. But you are not thinking clearly. Or this person is not thinking clearly. This person is not given towards this connection. This person is not providing you the victory that you once saw, you once had. They are now realizing, or you're realizing that there's someone is realizing that they need to let's see clarify the ace of swords clarify the ace of swords somebody got black hair a beard or a mustache. Somebody get their eyelashes done. So the Ace of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. See, you don't see growth with this person. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. 
for my Virgos. See? King of Swords. So, you don't see growth. You don't see prosperity. Maybe there's been a lot of arguments. Someone is not thinking clearly. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Understand by John B. Now you have an understanding that this person I already said they backstabbed you. They've been look how this ten of swords look. They got knives all in his face. And you see that hand up there by somebody's doing. Someone that you manifested. Someone was playing games. Someone was playing you. They was a snake the whole time. They was lying to your face. Looking you in your eyes, lying to you. You thought that you could have growth and opportunity with this person. But you realized that they was full of lies, deceiving. You felt like this person left you for dead. This person did everything that they could to betray you, to deceive you. But you realized this person meant you no good. You realize that that same grave that they dug for you, they dug for themselves. Let's see the outcome. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups. I told you, Mistress, High Priestess, Three of Cups in reverse. Eight of Wands and Three of Cups, so messages coming about a third party situation or messages coming towards you that this person is not is now leaving a third party. Let's see. Clarify the three of cups. Clarify the three of cups. Trying to see if the deck is in reverse because y'all got so many reversals. You got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse, and the Four of Wands in reverse. So you don't see growth. You don't see forward movement or stability with this person anymore. You're realizing now that Everything was built on a lie. See how we got that page of wands? A fox. Someone was being sneaky. Somebody was being deceptive. Persian rugs by party next door. So you're realizing that this person you can't have a new beginning with. You can't talk with this person. You can't grow with this person. It's done with. 
at the, this third party is being this third party is being released are you releasing the third party are you releasing this person because of a third party but you don't have any new beginnings no good news and no no stability with this person you realize it now that Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't even know why I saw you on it when I click on a record with y'all. I don't know. I wasn't tired. But anyways, you are realizing that there will be no growth. Sit on. You realize that there will be no growth. There will be no be new beginning. There's no abundance with this relationship. Mm. So, the 8-8 eight, eight portal is opening up, y'all. Because y'all got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So y'all don't have, then y'all got the Six of Wands in reverse. And the Four of Wands in reverse. So y'all don't see happiness, growth, and stability with this person anymore. There's been some type of epiphany. There has been some type of realization that has came out to let you know that this person is not the person that you're supposed to be with. This person is not the person that you are to be growing old with. This is not a person that you can believe you have realized that this person is a liar you have realized that this person has deceived you space age pumping a ball and mjg mm, that's a throwback She said, what, what will we do? So this person is walking away. I'll be obliged if you step aside. If my ride is awaiting. Bottom of the deck. Hurt by Christina Aguilera. Somebody going to be hurt. They got house is not a home. Luther Vandross is a Taurus. Dot com Usher is a Libra and Missing You by Leah is a Pisces. So you're realizing that this home that you built this person is not what you are where you're supposed to be. See he's asking her questions about how she feels about him how they feel about each other and maybe y'all had a conversation about the truth of the matter the truth of this relationship and you're realizing that this house is not a home and you balance out the situation and now somebody is missing somebody okay this is y'all Eight eight lions gave reading. And then I split the deck, you got higher friend. This was a marriage, a commitment, a long term relationship that y'all walking away from. See so said you and I me and you situation getting sticky. So be prepared to, I was about to say Taurus, and I see a Taurus right here, so y'all dealing with a Taurus. Okay, y'all be easy, like, share, comment, and subscribe, all the information y'all need about me is at the bottom in the description box. Y'all be easy.